Hi there, John O'Hurley here for high school quiz show Rhode Island today. It's the semifinal round and we pit the team from Lincoln High. <laughs> against the team from Barrington High. <laughs> Coming up next, high school quiz show Rhode Island. <laughs> High School Quiz Show Rhode Island is brought to you in part by the Rhode Island Foundation. Hello there and welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm your host John O'Hurley. Well, we are down to the final four teams. The winners of today's semi-final match heads to the High School Quiz Show Rhode Island final. And today's matchup has Barrington High taking on Lincoln High. On the Barrington team, say hello to Daniel. Hello, Michael. And Christina. And Clara. And we have alternates Brendan and Johnny. And coaches Bob Marley and Sam Schachter. <laughs> and from Lincoln, we have Alexa. Hannah, <laughs> Rochelle, and Julia, with alternates Casmero and Daniel, and coach Ron Almeida. <laughs> the competition continues with four rounds. We have a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and finally, a lightning round. And we're going to start with the toss-up round right now. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round of the day where there will be no point deductions for wrong answers, so go ahead. If you just want to take a stab, there's no harm, no foul. Everybody ready? All right, here we go. Here is your first question. What U.S. city is known as the city of brotherly love? I had it over here with Daniel. Philadelphia. Philadelphia is correct. In the Great Migration of 1847, Brigham Young led 70,000 Mormons from the Midwest into the valley of the Great Salt Lake in what present-day state? To you down in the end. Julia. Utah. That is correct. Utah. Name the official language of Austria. Daniel, to you. German. German is correct. Most ships traveling from New York to Los Angeles pass through what waterway completed in 1914? And Alexa, to you. Panama Canal. The Panama Canal. Name the pilot who flew the Enola Gay on the first atomic bomb mission to Hiroshima on August 6, 1945. Mm, no answer. Paul Tibbets. Paul Tibbets. The pancreas and the thyroid are part of what bodily system that regulates hormones and moods? Clara? The endocrine system. The endocrine system is correct. French explorers Jacques Marquette and Louis Jolet became the first Europeans to chart what river in 1673? Michael? The Mississippi. The Mississippi is correct. It's Joliet, actually. Okay, now would you please look at the monitors for a video question. Hi, this is Governor Gina Raimondo, and this is my question. In August 2017, the U.S. Senate confirmed Jerome Adams for this position known as the nation's doctor. Answer to you, Michael? The Surgeon General. The Surgeon General is correct. Very good. What legendary manager of the Beatles was posthumously inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2014? Answer to you, Michael. George Martin. I'm sorry, no, that's incorrect. Lincoln, would you take a stab? Very close with that, but it was Brian Epstein. Brian Epstein. In 2016, over 18,000 refugees were resettled in the United States in response to the Civil War. In what country that began in 2011? To you, Clara? The Syrian Civil War. The Syrian Civil War. Syria will, will take. Thank you very much. Okay. What veteran talk show host and media mogul created the games Jeopardy in 1964 and Wheel of Fortune in 1975? Alexa. Alex Trebek. <laughs> that would be the host. Another one to you? Barrington? No answer is actually Merv Griffin. Merv Griffin. Yes, Merv Griffin created many, many shows. The human body has four basic types of tissue, nervous, muscle, epithelial, and what else? Alexa? Muscle. 
Sorry, no. To you, Barrington? Michael? Bone? Bone, no, I'm sorry. This would be tissue. The answer is connective tissue. All right, moving on. In 1864, Jeff Brown created what children's book series about a two-dimensional boy that later <laughs> inspired a worldwide letter-writing project? Who is that, Alexa? Flat Stanley. Flat Stanley. I've held Flat Stanley many times in all parts of the world, I'll tell you. The Earth's magnetic field is created by the motion of liquid metal in which of the following layers of the Earth? A, the inner core. B, the outer core. C, the mantle. Clara? C, the mantle. Incorrect. I'm sorry, Lincoln, take a stab. Alexa? Inner core. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It's actually the outer core. All right, here's a math question. Get your pencils ready. What is y to the fourth power if y is 2? Answer quickly. Daniel? 16. Of course, you didn't even need the pencil. The General Accounting Office, or GAO, investigates how the federal government spends tax dollars. It was created in 1921 under what U.S. president? Went to you, Alexa? Hoover. I'm sorry, incorrect. Barrington, take a stab. Michael? Harding. That is correct. You know your president's very good. From 1565 to 1815, Spanish galleons had a thriving trade route between Manila, Philippines, and what major seaport on Mexico's west coast? I have an answer here from Alexa. Tijuana. 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 No, I'm sorry. Barrington, take a stab. Mm, no answer. The great port of Acapulco. Acapulco. England's Queen Elizabeth II signs official documents as Elizabeth R. The R stands for what Latin word for queen? Michael. Regina. Regina. That is correct. Okay. What metallic element has the symbol SB? Daniel? Antimony. Antimony. X right. Liesl Memminger is a foster girl living outside Munich during World War II who can't resist stealing books in what 2006 novel by Marcus Zusak? Clara? The Book Thief. The Book Thief is correct. Which of the following state capitals extends farthest east? A. Atlanta. B. Harrisburg. C. Minneapolis. Michael. Atlanta. Is incorrect. Like Lincoln to you? Um, Harrisburg. Alexa says Harrisburg, and Harrisburg is correct. Unusual, but in fact, it is. All right, in the farewell address to the nation, what president warned of the growing military industrial complex that developed after World War II? Daniel? Eisenhower. Eisenhower, very good. A quote We have traded a dictator for a chaos that has left America less secure. Massachusetts Senator John Kerry said this about what Iraqi leader in 2004? To you, Alexa? Saddam Hussein. Saddam Hussein is correct. A math question, please. A billion has nine zeros, a trillion has 12 zeros. What number has 15 zeros? Alexa, to you. Trillion. I'm sorry, incorrect. Barrington? Daniel? A quadrillion. Quadrillion, indeed, okay. What document did King's... I'm sorry, that is the end of the round. Let's check our scores and see who is winning. Right now, we start off with Barrington with 130 points. Lincoln has 50 points. Let's give our young people a round of applause. <laughs> All right, our quick thinking head-to-head -head round is next. But first, let's take a few minutes and get to know our players, shall we? Here's my question to you. What do you love most about the state of Rhode Island? We'll begin with Barrington. Hello, Daniel. Nice to have you with us. Thank you. Uh, I think my favorite thing about Rhode Island is the smallness and the intimacy. It sort of staves off that dehumanizing sprawl, and it also makes it a lot easier to remember directions. <laughs> I don't know. I've gotten lost on a lot of these little narrow streets now on the one way around Providence here, all right? But that's a good thought there. Michael, how about you? I mean, there are so many wonderful things about Rhode Island, but if I had to pick one, I would say that the Providence Performing Arts Center is just a wonderful theater, and it's so great to have it literally less than half an hour And away. I echo that. I had an opportunity to bring Chicago the Musical here, my show, and i got to tell that. you, one of the great performing arts centers in the country. Very good. Christina, how about you? I would definitely say, because the state is so small, we um, 
don't have to drive too far, and we complain about going further than 20 minutes. That's exactly, that's exactly right. Well, you have so many wonderful spots in the state as well. Hello, Clara. How are you? Nice to have you with us. Good. Uh, for my favorite thing about Rhode Island, I'd definitely say uh, blizzards because I'm from Wisconsin, and we got a lot of snow there, and we moved. But we didn't get really get blizzards in Wisconsin, and I just love all the snow. So. You love all the snow. Yeah, we do have a tendency to get those nor'easters here, don't we? All right. Alexa? Hi. My favorite part of Rhode Island is frozen lemonade, and our quiz bowl coach, Mr. Almeida. <laughs> <laughs> very specific, very good answer, especially the lemonade. I like that. Hannah? I think my favorite thing about Rhode Island is coffee milk and definitely Coach Ron Almeida. <laughs> <laughs> the love abounds here. Coffee milk, yes, okay. All right. Hello, Rochelle. How are Hello. you? What do you love about Rhode Island? Um, what I love about Rhode Island is probably the way that we say bubbler for water fountains and also my coach, Ron Almeida. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to see the pattern develop. The pattern of love. All right. Hi, Julia. How are Hi, you? Hi, good. How are you? And what do you love about Rhode Island? Um, my favorite part of Rhode Island is, of course, the beach and Mr. Ron, Ron Almeida. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you all. It's wonderful to have you here. All right. It's time for our head-to-head -head round. Barrington and Lincoln, come on down. <laughs> About to go head to head. I've got Lincoln on my left, Barrington here on my right. Let's shake hands and come out thinking. Are you ready? As a reminder, in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers, but incorrect answers will cost you 10 points. You buzz in at any time, and the clock is set now at 90 seconds. Are you all ready? We'll begin with this first question How many bones are in the human body? Your answer? 206. 206, correct. Who was the Prime Minister of Great Britain at the start of World War I in... Your answer here? Lloyd George. Oh, sorry. Incorrect. Neville Chamberlain. Approximately one-fifth of all fresh water that enters the world oceans comes from what river? Your answer here? The Amazon. The Amazon is correct. What city is home to the official headquarters of the United Nations? Your answer went here. New York City. New York City is correct. What is the chemical symbol for sodium? Answer here? N.A. N.A. is correct. What is the most widely spoken language in Brazil? Portuguese. Portuguese is correct. What word beginning with the letter A refers to the ancient citadel of Athens? Your answer? The, uh, the, uh, the Acropolis. The Acropolis is correct. Got it in just in time. Cupid is the Roman god of love and desire and the son of what Roman goddess? Venus. Venus is correct. On March 18th, 19, uh, 1854, British and France declared war on Russia during what? Yes? Crimean War. The Crimean War, correct. Rosa Parks, trigger, Rosa Parks triggered the Montgomery bus boycott on December 1st of what year? Your answer? 1958. I'm sorry, no, incorrect. 1955, but close. In the late 19th century, what post-impressionist artist painted The Starry Night? Vincent van Gogh. Vincent van Gogh. And the last answer, you heard the bell. That's the end of the round. We have Barrington with 190 points, Lincoln with 60. <laughs> Let's have a round of applause for both teams. <laughs> Next up, it's the category round with the following categories. Follow them, please. Poets Corner. Quotes of note, first do no harm, hats off. Huck Finn and habla espanol. Each category has five questions with increasing point values. All right, players, you can confer with your teammates, but once you have buzzed in, you can no longer confer. We'll need your answers immediately. All right, the team with the lower score will begin first, and that is Lincoln High. What is your category, please? Uh, habla espanol. Habla Espanol. Here we go. For 10 points, military leaders who established Spanish rule in the New World by overthrowing Native Americans were referred to as what? To you, Alexa? Conquistadors. Conquistadors, indeed. Okay, all right. You can stay with the category or choose some other one. Sure. Stay with it, yeah. Stay with this one? Okay. Habla Espanol for 15 points. What large, bowl-shaped volcanic depression is named after the Spanish word for cauldron? Your... Answer here, Daniel. Caldera. Caldera is correct. You control the board now, your choice. Uh, let's go to Huck Finn. For 10 points, these are questions about Mark Twain's adventures of Huckleberry Finn. 
Jim is a runaway slave who accompanies Huck on a raft as he travels down what river? Yes, down to you, Alexa. The Mississippi. The Mississippi River is correct. All right, you control the board now. Um, we'll go back to Habla Espanol. Habla Espanol. You like that one, don't you? This one is for 20 points. What chapel in San Antonio, Texas, and the site of a famous 1836 battle is named after the Spanish word for cottonwood? Answer to you, Alexa. Uh, the Alamo. The Alamo, indeed. Okay. Your choice? I will stick with habla espanol, please. For All right. This is now for 25 points. What three-word Spanish motto used by labor leader Cesar Chavez did Barack Obama's campaign borrow for the 2008 campaign slogan, Yes, We Can? Daniel? Si se puedo. Si se puedo. Indeed. Okay. You control the board. Your question, or your category, please. Back to Huck Finn for 15. I'm sorry? Back to Huck Finn for 15. Back to Huck Finn. Thank you, my friend. For 15 points. What best friend of Huck was raised in relative comfort and believed strictly in following the rules of society? Alexa, to you. Tom Sawyer. Tom Sawyer is correct. All right. You control the board. Your category. Um, we'll go to Abba Espanol for 30. Abba Espanol for 30. Name the eight-letter word that describes a classic cold soup made with raw vegetables from Andalusia, Spain. Clara? Gazpacho. Gazpacho, indeed. All right. You control the category. Your choice. Let's go back to Huck Finn. Back to Huck. It's time for 20 points. She took me for her son and allowed she would civilize me. At the beginning of the novel, Huck says this about what woman who tries to reform him. No answer? The Widow Douglas. You control the board still? Go ahead. We'll stick with Huck Finn. Stick with Huck Finn. Okay, this time for 25 points. Huck hides out on which of the following islands when he escapes from his abusive father? A, Watson's Island. B, Jackson's Island. C, Harvey's Island. Christina? Jackson's. Jackson's is correct. Good guess. Okay. Your category, please? Uh, we'll finish off. We'll Huck finish Finn. off here for 30 points. Huck Finn. After Huck gets to know the Gangerford family, he realizes that they have been feuding with what neighboring family with whom they attend church? No answer. The Shepherdsons. Shepherdsons. Okay, you still control. What category would you like? What could a first do no harm? First do no harm. These are questions about health and medicine for 10 points. Most often caused by UV radiation from sunshine or tanning beds. What disease is the deadliest form of skin cancer? Christina. Melanoma. That is correct. Okay. Your category. Uh, we'll stick with it. All right. For 15 points this time. In type 1 diabetes, the body does not produce a hormone needed to convert sugar, starches, and all other food into energy. Name that hormone. Down to you, Rochelle. Insulin. Insulin is correct. You control the board now. Uh, can we do quotes of note? Okay, quotes of note. These are questions about famous quotations. For 10 points, here we go. History will be kind to me, for I intend to write it myself. This quote is from what British leader and author of the six-volume series, The Second World War? Answer down here, Daniel. Churchill. It is Winston Churchill. Yes, okay. Categories to you? Let's keep going with quotes of note. All right, for 15 points, quotes of note. Every strike brings me closer to the next home run. This quote is attributed to what baseball legend known as the Sultan of Swat? Michael? Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth. You had a question mark. You should have been more sure of it. It was very good. Okay. All right. We'll stick with quotes of note. Okay. Quotes of note. This is for 20 now. I desire you would remember the ladies and be more generous and favorable to them than your ancestors. Who wrote this to her husband as he was drafting America's Constitution? All right, Daniel. Abigail Adams. Abigail Adams, absolutely. All right, continuing on, your choice. We'll continue with quotes of note. Quotes of note, okay. Houston, we have a problem, Tom Hanks says in this 1995 film based on the events of the ill-fated real-life moon mission of the same name. Christina? Apollo 13. Apollo 13, correct. We'll stick with quotes of note, please. All right, for 30 points. There cannot be a crisis next week. My schedule is already full. What German-born U.S. diplomat said this in 1969? Daniel? Kissinger? It is Henry Kissinger. Very good and very funny, too. All right. That completes that category. What category would you like now? We'll return to first do no harm. First do no harm. All right. 
Now for 20 points. Shingles is a common skin rash that typically affects older adults and is caused by the same virus, which causes what other viral infection? To you, Daniel. Chicken pox. Chicken pox. Very good. Okay. Continuing on, what category? We'll stick with first do no harm. Okay. Now for 25 points. Lou Gehrig's disease is a neurological disorder also known by what three-letter acronym? Clara, to you. ALS. ALS is correct. All right. What would you like to do now? Let's stick with first do no Stay harm. Stay with first do no harm. This is 30 points. A PET scan is an imaging test that allows doctors to check for diseases inside the body. What does the P stand for in PET? No answer there, okay. Positron, positron is the actual correct answer. Okay, that completes that category. You still control, which would you choose? We'll stay with hats off. All right, hats off. This is a question about none other than hats. In the Harry Potter series, what magical object assigns new Hogwarts students to one of four houses? Michael, to you. The sorting hat. The sorting hat, exactly. All right. Continuing on, what would you choose? Uh, we'll stick with hats off. Ha stick with hats off. Now for 15 points. From the Spanish meaning shade, what wide-brimmed hat with a chin strap is worn to provide its wearer with shade for the head, neck, and shoulders? <coughs> Hannah? Sombrero. The sombrero, or the urban sombrero. <laughs> Continuing on, you control now. We'll stick with hats off. Hats off stays with you, okay. 20 points now. Although never actually mentioned in the original books, what 11-letter word refers to the iconic hunting cap that's become synonymous with Sherlock Holmes? No answer. All right, well, that's the end of the round. I'm gonna give you the answer, though. It's the deer stalker. I'm surprised anyone, that's a tough name. All right, well, that brings us to the end of our category round. Let's check our scores right now. Barrington in the lead, 450 points to Lincoln's 145. Let's hear it for both teams. <laughs> All right, time now to head into our final 90 seconds of game time. It's the lightning round. So, players, you're going to get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers will cost you 20 points. And the clock is set. Are you ready for the final round? Here we go with your first question. In September 1822, Brazil proclaimed its independence from what nation? Down to you, Michael. Portugal. Portugal is correct. Who was the first person set to set foot on the moon? Michael again. Armstrong. Neil Armstrong, correct. What type of bats are the only mammals that feed entirely on blood? Michael? Vampire bat. Vampire, of course, yes. All right, the city of Anchorage is located in what state? To you again. Alaska. Alaska is correct. Silica, also known as silicon di dioxide, has what chemical formula? To you, Michael. SiO2. Okay. The character Friar Lawrence devises a plan involving a sleeping potion. It, all right, I'll go to you, Alexa. Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet in what Shakespearean tragedy? Who was the first Mormon to run for U.S. president? To you, Michael. Romney. I'm sorry, incorrect. Okay. Lincoln. Nope, okay, no answer. No bounce. No, I'm sorry, Joseph Smith. The Maldives are a chain of coral islands. Look, okay. Indian Daniel? Ocean. The Indian Ocean, yes, okay. What is the name of the annual music festival in Rhode Island that has become known as, okay, Alexa, do you? Newport Jazz Festival. Newport Jazz Festival. In 1954, what Englishman became the first athlete to run a mile in under four minutes? Uh. Roger Bannister. What bear known as Ursus Maritimus is... Okay, Daniel? Polar bear. The polar bear signaling the end. You heard the bell. Okay. We have our winner, and our winning team is... Hands together for Barrington. 570 points. Lincoln is our runner-up. With 185 points, congratulations to both teams. What a great game. What a great game indeed. Barrington will move on now to the championship round, so be sure to tune in, won't you? We'll be back here next week with High School Quiz Show, the final. <laughs>
high school quiz show Rhode Island is brought to you in part by the Rhode Island Foundation. to see your school on High School Quiz Show Rhode Island next season? Visit ripbs.org for details. And to stay up to date this season, follow us on social media.